It's a hectic morning here, and I'm sure it's not just hectic inside, it's hectic outside. Mm -hmm. Yes, and it is snowing now in Tehachapi, and we're going to continue to watch as that is only going to increase as we head into the day ahead. So the storm is here. We just got a picture from Maddie's husband, Justin, out near Golden Hills. Let's take a look at it with the weather computer. And it is starting uh, to lay down and uh, look uh, pretty thick out there, Maddie. I don't want to make you nervous on that drive home. <laughs> but, but, but look at that. It is starting to blanket the ground out uh, into Hatchapi. We are seeing snow. And yes, we do have more on the way. Let's take a look at the radar. Here it comes. And within the past, say, uh, 40 minutes or so, we just started to see this really kind of blow up here in terms of snow all the way down to past levels. So now we are watching for that to occur. Although uh, Aton Wallace is saying that it is not sticking on the grapevine yet. And at this point, it is just uh, rain and those snowflakes are melting. But it's, it's going to happen. And as we head into the day ahead, we do have accumulating snow in the forecast. Already snowing here in Pine Mountain Club, as well as over into the Fraser Park Lebec area. Snowing now in Golden Hills, Stallion Springs, Bear Valley, Alta Sierra. You are going to see upwards of three feet of snow. And this system extending all the way up here into the uh, central Sierra and offshore as well. Temperature wise, we're still at 32 degrees in Tehachapi. It's 46 in Bakersfield. We have a steady rain, and we're looking at rain with mid. 40s out into the valley locations. Our winds right now are out of the east at 6 here in the city, but we have had gusty winds throughout the past couple of hours, especially through the grapevine where there was a gust upwards of 60 miles per hour around 3 o'clock this morning. So it's going to continue to be windy in the mountains. Meanwhile, snow levels will lower to 3,800 feet tonight. So right before sunrise, we tend to see those snow levels lower and then they'll go up a little bit and then they'll usually uh, go back down as we near the nighttime hours. So keep in mind tonight we'll be looking then for that snow level to be uh, well below the past level. And then into tomorrow too, uh, Thursday morning, watching for more uh, rain and snow on the way. So the system is just starting and it will continue to move uh, to the area as we head throughout the day. That area of low pressure still working through. As we head into 1.30 this afternoon, rain, snow, and actually seeing maybe it letting up from time to time. And then as we head into tonight, Still watching for that chance of rain and snow tomorrow morning. Uh, looking then for maybe a little bit of a, a light break. But tomorrow afternoon, looking very snowy as we head out near the 58, especially, and up into the Kern River Valley. So that's for Thursday into Friday. And then a break in the action Friday afternoon. Saturday, a warmer system works in. Snow levels will be high Saturday. So I'm not so much worried about the snow on Saturday, but it will be wet and rainy around the area as we head into this weekend. All the way through early Monday and Tuesday. And I'm still forecasting upwards of an inch of rain here from Wednesday into Thursday alone. Uh, this forecast model showing an inch in Bakersfield and other ones also showing some heavy rain. So expect probably an inch of rain here uh, into today, into tomorrow, if not more. And then into the weekend, maybe an additional inch to an inch and a half. And in terms of the snow this uh, into the mountains for this weekend, it's going to be higher elevation mountain snow into the weekend. Three to eight inches at 3,000 feet here in Tehachapi. So this is from today through Friday morning. Remember the winter storm morning goes through 4 a.m. Friday. And then as we head near the base of the grapevine, two to six inches of snow possible from now all the way through uh, Friday morning at 4 a.m. Kern River Valley, you may even see snow in Lake Isabella, Glenville, Wofford Heights, an inch or upwards of four inches and into Ridgecrest. You may see some snow on the desert floor. We may see snow on the west edge of the valley in the Tembler Mountain Range and the foothills could see a light dusting too. So we could get down to 2,000 feet. Temperatures today at 52 degrees. Keep those umbrellas handy here in the valley. Pack your patience, drive slow everyone. And as we head into Thanksgiving, 49 with again a rainy day ahead and uh, often on showers on Friday, not quite as wet, but wet for the weekend. In the mountains, 40 degrees, and then 36 on Thursday, 35 on Friday, looking then for 37 on Saturday. Snow levels are going to be low in the morning Saturday, but climbing throughout the day. And we'll get up to 5,000 feet during the day on Saturday in the mountains. So uh, snow, Pine Mountain Club could still see a lot of snow. And chances are you will probably be snowed in if you're in Pine Mountain Club. By the way, if you are in 
one of our mountain viewers right now and, and you're watching this, send me pictures, weather at kget.com, and we'll get them on the air, just like we showed Maddie's photo. And then in the Kern River Valley, too, 54 degrees for Wednesday, looking at 40s for Thursday and Friday and into the weekend with lows in the upper 30s. So I'll be on the hunt for more weather pictures and um, the Tehachapi train depot looking very snowy. I don't know if we can have time for that right now, but I'll definitely show that in my next weather hit. Oh, but yes, Adam delivers. Here we go. Oh, my. Last you shall see. There we go. <laughs> wow. It's coming down, <laughs> Maddie. It's, it's beautiful, but I think this yes. is just a good reminder that maybe if you do have travel plans today to, to reconsider. Yeah, well, probably. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Who knows better Here's than the Robert man Rodriguez. to give us that information? I, I'm just going to let him deliver that bad part of the story. My, <gasps> you know, we've been talking about how you should travel yesterday. Now, it's too late to travel it's yesterday. It's here. Now. So it's here we, now. Where we are <laughs> from here? We're here now. Uh, well, the good news is, is, is that uh, the major routes are still open. Even though we, even though we're seeing some snow, we're seeing some light snow out there. Highway 58, we're seeing lights of moderate snow. Uh, it yeah, is still it. open. It's, it's nothing right now. So good news, no crashes to talk about That's up good. on your mountain passes. That's great. Uh, we do have uh, one crash uh, on Highway 58 on the on the westbound side near Bear Mountain Boulevard, and uh, we're also receiving reports of some flooding and flooding on uh, on Highway 99 near Interstate 5, that interchange. Uh, it flooded last time we had some rain, uh, so uh, we had significant amount of crashes there uh, during that last rainstorm. So hopefully that's not the case this time, but um, again, Caltrans is en route to hopefully get that cleared up. But again, right now, uh, again, if you are planning on making your travels out of town, right now is the time to do it. Because yeah. I don't know, as Alyssa said, you know, later on we're probably going to get more and, and, you know, temperatures are going to drop. So wow. um, as of right now, it's open. And you guys, I, I saw on the uh, earlier over the grapevine, it said Caltrans had snow plows working. So there are a lot of people working to try and keep these roads open as long as possible. Right. Our job is to keep the roadways open. But again, as the conditions change, as it becomes more hazardous and, and we see more uh, people involved in crashes, then, you know, we, we want to keep people safe. But at the same time, we want we want to make sure that you get to your destination safely so um, you know we're gonna do our best to work with Caltrans to monitor and just again monitor the situation and be out there if we have to pace then we'll pace but again we want people to be safe all right we know it's gonna be a very busy day out there for you as well so Definitely be safe so. on the roads amen <laughs> right. thanks so much Robert